He didn't sleep. Just it's actually going. you remember gang, the, gang, what gang, is gang. it? The Russian sleep experiment or whatever. Oh, the hell right, 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 right. <laughs> but just some NPC streamers. What did they figure out from that? Like, what is the limit of the human body where you can go without sleep? Well, I don't know if that's like if that experiment was real. But because oh, really? you hear the story about it, like you know the one where they're like. I don't know if it's just like a creepy pasta or whatever when they did the sleep experiment so and Wiki started. Says. What Wiki, happened? Wiki says it's a creepy pasta. Yeah, it's a creepy pasta. What is a creepy pasta? It's like um, like a creepy story, like a scary oh, story that just people, a story yeah. that people tell, but it's like, not real. The but I wonder. Oh, if, isn't that like they murdered each other or something like that? Yeah, they started like murdering everybody. Oh, so right, they say in right. the in the story. It's okay. a story that makes sense. But. That makes sense that that's not real. Did they ever really push that? If if they did, they probably won't talk about it. You know, like right. it's so like inhumane. Like and given well, you think about fuck, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like MK Ultra and all yeah, that shit. That's man. What I was about to go there. All that shit, like yeah. I'll let you talk about it. So I just know what it is, but I don't know anything about it. It's in a real program that the CIA was running that where they were experimenting with people with LSD to find out what LSD did and they wanted to know like how can we use it can we use it to interrogate our right. enemy our enemies can we use it as a truth serum like, what, what can we do with it by the way guys I have no idea what this stuff is there you go <laughs> and, and what they did was they started experimenting and not just the United States uh, they did it with British soldiers, too, in the 1950s. There's a video of these British soldiers that they gave them acid. See if you can find that, because it's a wild video. They, these dudes, they just dosed them up and had them running through the woods. They're like, ah! How, how do you, so do you have, like, Manhunters on that? You ever watch that show, Manhunter? What is that? He's like the guy that like he's like all right. If you can hide, I'm the best tracker in the oh, world. If you can okay. hide from me on my horse, like. But how do they how do they keep track of what they did in the woods? That's a good question. How do they, Jamie? <laughs> For what in this case? Yeah, they filmed them. Right. So they. they but just, what if they went super but, deep? Yeah. Right. How do they keep track of them? Keep them from just going on an acid marathon. <laughs> Uh, brisket, I think. I don't know. I get, yeah, they didn't give a fuck <laughs> about these dudes. <laughs> they were going to send these dudes in front of bullets. I mean, this is, this is the fucking right after Storm of the Beach at Normandy days. You know, these were wild times, man. People just ran into gunfire back then. They were different men. Are these guys all on acid right they now? Yes. Now. Watch them start laughing. They can't, sit. They, <laughs> they can't stop laughing. So they're soldiers, and they're sitting there doing their job, but they, they can't stop laughing. They're just tripping balls. And then later, there's some footage of them in the woods. They took them to the woods afterwards. Or maybe there's, yeah. I think this is, might be a different it one. Because I have not seen this one. But they, I think they did it with a bunch of people. And they did it at Harvard. You know, Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, he was a part of the Harvard LSD studies. He was a participant. Yeah. No they shit. They dosed that dude up with acid. No shit. Yeah, they dosed him up with acid. And then he was... You know, he had Did a... Did that guy have a the, rifle? So, yeah. So these they are the guys. They can give a dude with a rifle LSD. But yet they did. <laughs> Look at these dudes. They got cameras and fucking... What is he? He's holding on to his headphones. They He's can't trying stop to put laughing. the headphones on the tree. <laughs> they can't stop laughing. Look. It's like a great drug. And they were like, okay, this has no military purpose at all. <laughs> yeah, we like, cannot this use this. This is exactly the opposite of what we want. What did they do? Chop it? They're chopping it? Are they chopping a tree? It's I don't know. This guy's climbing that. a fucking tree. He's out of his mind. Why do they have firearms? Because they're army guys. That's crazy, though. Yeah, British Marines. 1964, that was. So um, what what the That's CIA crazy. was Thank doing you. is they were, they, they were experimenting with uh, prostitutes. So what they would do is they would set up a brothel, and they would have these guys go in to try to get with the prostitute, and the prostitute was a CIA agent. She would give them... A drink that was <clears throat> laced with acid, and they would watch these guys through two-way mirrors. That's insane. Yeah, they were just trying to figure out what does acid do. Like, and what, it what was just totally yeah. unsuspecting. Yeah, guys. and then there was mind control experiments. There, there was definitely uh, something going on with Charles Manson, and that's the Tom uh, O'Neill book, Chaos. It's a great book about. MK Ultra and the role that these guys that were running that program that they interacted with Manson they interacted with him in prison and they think that they might have been the people that were supplying him with the acid 
or he was using it to manipulate those kids. And the whole thing was to discredit the anti-war movement. They were, they were trying to develop this attitude in America that hippies are dangerous and murderous. And, you know, these people that are like, stop the war, these people are, they're a threat. Sure. And so one of the ways they did it was this high profile guy, Charles Manson. And they take this guy and they taught him how to run a fucking cult when he was in prison, most likely. They, they definitely, what was he in prison for beforehand? Oh, he's been in prison his whole, whole life. life. His whole life. Where's he, he from? That's a good question. I don't know where Manson was from. Thank you. Uh, but the book, Chaos, I can't recommend it enough. It's fucking incredible. The guy worked on it for 20 years. I've talked about it 100 times on the podcast. If you listen to it before, I'm sorry. But that guy, who is my friend Greg's neighbor, my friend Greg Fitzsimmons, he was this guy's neighbor like 20 years ago and he was working on this. And he got hired to write a story about the anniversary of the Tate LaBianca murders. And when he got hired to write that story, he started finding all these inconsistencies in the story. And so he started doing like real journalism. And it just like he went on a deep dive, like way too long. And he wrote it for 20 fucking years. Yeah. For 20, and finally, they got together, they helped him with an editor, and they put it all together, and they put together this book. This book's insane. It's insane. Yeah, dude. It, it, it's, I don't know. That's such a crazy. It's so crazy. And the thing about, I don't know if it's harder to, like, pull the wool over people's eyes now rather than then. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know either. Because there's so many different, like, we were talking about the news. Yeah. You know, you go on the news and you get caught in this, it's like a perpetual, it's a wheel. You know what I mean? And you just yeah. keep getting, especially now due to the algorithms that we have, yeah. you just keep getting fed the same information to, like, perpetuate what you want to learn about and what mm. they want you to know about. Mm -hmm. But back then... It wasn't as accessible. So I wonder if it was harder back then to, like, trick the populace into believing something than it is now. I think it was probably easier because I think they probably had more respect for institutions because they didn't have the access to them that we have now. Like, think about what a president was like back then. Presidents openly had affairs. No one reported on it. They were they were just revered figures. It was right. a different thing. Like when Kennedy was the president, sure, definitely people hated him, especially Republicans. A lot of people hated him for the Bay of Pigs, but the, the press didn't hate him. You know, they they everybody knew who he was. Right. Not that's not the case today. You know, the world is.